Hi viewers, welcome to our channel SS Academy for Physics. In this case, PGTRB Physics Lam Unit 4 Statistical Mechanics and the Thermionic Emission or important points discuss. Pannla. Okay, let us discuss the Thermionic Emissions. Okay. So, if the Thermionic Emissions pattern the in free electron model of a metal. This is the free electrons. Inside the metal, free electrons may be considered to be confined to a potential well. Okay. So, a potential well, for the example, I diagram easier to use. metal. Okay. The metal, this is the Fermi energy level. Okay. So, this is the Fermi energy level. In between, in the American park, mu at the in the place on the in between the mu at the clown. In the metal, in the distance, either distance n I pathana, phi in at the clown. Okay, one. So either you value in a phi in consider panicro. The next term, so in the Fermi energy level, in between gap, the cry, the at the clown, epsilon naught. Okay, so the one dimensional potential will, okay, epsilon is equal to zero at the clown. Then another vacuum, okay. This is called the vacuum, okay. So the x direction set the clock. In given the nana, it is the epsilon at the clock, okay. Then another metal, okay. Or a metal consider panicro. So here the free electrons inside a metal may be considered to be confined to a potential well, okay. So, upon the potential will, when the energy is one dimensional, the one dimensional, the epsilon naught being the depth of the will. The epsilon naught in the depth of the will, one dimensional potential will or depth. The height of the will above the Fermi level is called the, the height at the Kolaya. So, the height of the will above Fermi level is called the work functions of the metal. So, this is the work function. That is denote panirkana, pi in denote panirkana. Okay, well, that is denoted by the letter pi. Okay, so if you value in a pretty early the law of the solipata, but value of the pi is equal to the value pi is equal to epsilon naught minus mu. Epsilon naught minus mu in a yadala. Maybe a few electron volts, then a few electron volts in a centerco. Okay, so if an electron is to come out to a metal. The metal of the electron on the middle of the world, it must possess a kinetic energy, isn't it? So, normal to the surface greater than epsilon naught. But the surface greater than epsilon naught. So, thus the electron and the electron on the tip which comes out the metal or those in the high energy tail of the equilibrium distribution. Okay. So, for the pre f of e, uh, f of epsilon is equal to e power mu minus epsilon by k t in okay wow. so see let us discuss here in free electron model of a metal the zero of the energy is taken at the bottom zero energy in the bottom at the absolute zero temperature temperature every zero temperature the electrons will till n by 2 lowest energy State up to the energy value EF. Okay, in the EF is the Fermi energy level. EF so, the minimum amount of energy necessary to remove an electron from the metals. So, minimum energy we get to the metals and the electron on the remove. Move. Okay, is well. equal to the E alpha minus EF and is defined as the work function phi. And the work function the NN number phi. The metal on the metal on the energy level. Uh, in the five electrons on the two metal and the move on the four work function at a conolia other men at the com phi in at the okay wow. work function of the metal phi okay so the emission current density per unit area you know very well current density of every don't put more j in the lateral denote put more of the j is equal to a t squared into e power minus e pi psi dotted by k t dot e pi is called the wave function either in sort of the wave function so wrong so, E phi is equal to epsilon to alpha minus E epsilon to F. Okay. Is equal to, that means A is equal to what? 4 pi m e k square divided by h cube. Okay. The next term. This equation is called the Richardson-Dashman equation. And the equation is the Richardson-Dashman equation. 
of the dermionic emission. Okay, so the dermionic emission of the solitaire. Okay, so the Richardson Dashman equation then when I put on dermionic emissions put on. So on the equation of when I put on current density can put on J is equal to AT squared. Okay, J is equal to AT squared e power minus pi divided by kt. Minus pi divided by kt. Okay, wow. So, this is where a in the a in the n of the solipatamna. In the a clear a t squared k is equal to a in the a n of the patamna. A the emperor is one two pi. Okay, two pi nu two nu m k square m k square e divided by h cube. Okay, one. So, marbury what I'm sold right. Okay, j is equal to a t squared e power minus pi by k t. This is the Richardson Dustman equation. Current density is equal to a t squared. Okay, so a is represent by 2 pi nu m k squared e divided by h cube. It is a constant independent of temperature. This is a constant independent of temperature. Okay, so the exponential increase of the ammonic current. The thermionic current first year described in the Richardson. Okay, in 1912. Okay, but equation when the end of the Patama was given by the equation Tiar Kurthangan Sona in the Dashman. Okay, wow. In 1922, okay, wow. So when the J is equal to A T squared e power minus pi by K T, this is called the Richardson Dashman equation for thermionic emission. Okay. So it finds wide applications in vacuum tubes. Vacuum tubes are the very applications in the base panni yunga find out panni yukkanga. As the temperature of the filament is doubled. So thermionic current increases four times. Temperature sundhira the filament ala double hour kum bodhu. The filament oda temperature double hour kum bodhu. Thermionic current on the day yunga increase hago na four times on the day increase hago. So in the current in the equation thermionic emission oda formula namakke mcq ula kekka chance uth irukku. Then in the statement namakka kekla. Okay. Then gas degeneracy. The deviation from perfect gas behaves exhibited by both Einstein gas in termed as degeneracy. Okay. So the gas degeneracy is obviously a function of 1 by d. Gas degeneracy is now 1 by d. Okay. Now d is equal to e power x in there. 1 by d is equal to n divided by g s is a tree. Here is it is the translation portion function. Is it staying there? This translation portion function. Okay. Hope you understand. If you like my video, please subscribe, share your friend circle. Thank you. All the best.